this marginal concept is related to change in total change in total so this is the essence of the marginal so like we have the marginal utility is the change in the total utility due to the change in the consumption and we have uh, the marginal revenue that is the change in the total revenue due to the change in the production so marginal concept is referred to the change and finding of the marginal function from a total function is basically a measurement of change that is if we are given if we are given a total function total function finding it is marginal function uh, marginal function basically basically means we are finding the change this total function can be anything like total utility function it can be total cost function or it can be total revenue function so finding uh, the marginal function is marginal uh, function is implies we are finding the change that is the essence of the marginal which is used in the economics okay uh, now how do we find uh, these marginals first of all for that uh, we use an important tool or rather i can say a uh, powerful tool that is we use the derivative we use the derivative okay so i have told you in earlier videos how we find the derivative so i will just try to make it uh, less time consuming for you here now first of all uh, we will uh, see the marginal utility this definition so we have the if we are given the marginal utility now marginal utility is actually addition uh, addition made to total utility addition made uh, to total utility by consuming by consuming one more one more unit of unit of commodity so basically this marginal utility tells us that uh, what uh, is changed to their total utility if uh, one more uh, one more unit of a uh, commodity is consumer that is uh, what uh, addition goes to our total utility when we uh, when we consume one more unit of a commodity sorry so that is uh, simply a rate of change of the total utility or other road, uh, rate of change of the total utility with respect to the change one unit of commodity so basically as we have seen marginal utility is given by a uh, total utility by consuming n units minus total utility by consuming n minus 1 units now what does this tell us let us uh, try to be a uh, very simple here i will show you let us say uh, we first we consumed four quantities of any commodity and it gave us a uh, 10 utilities of satisfaction after that if we consume for you uh, let us say we got uh, 12 utilities of consumption okay now, uh, if we can uh, plug the values here, this total utility, uh, sorry, the marginal utility is given by uh, total utility by consuming n items, sorry, n uh, units of a product minus total utility by consuming n minus 1 units of that very product. Let, let us say here n is our for you so i will write here total utility by consuming for you units minus total utility by consuming for you minus one that is four units so we are here with total utility uh, by consuming uh, for you units minus total utility by consuming four units five minus one is four so up to uh, fifth commodity we got total uh, utility that is 12 
minus uh, up to consuming four uh, units of a commodity, we got 10 utilities. So here, uh, utilities, uh, sorry. So the marginal utility is simply here. Marginal utility is simply here, 12 minus two. So this is uh, one way of finding the marginal utility. Now we will see if we are given a total utility function which is uh, the prime motive of this video. So let me erase this. Let us say we are given the total utility function is given as uh, 3x square plus 5. This is our total utility function. Now we have to find it is uh, find the marginal utility from this very total utility function. What will we do? We will write marginal utility of uh, uh, since here uh, the product is only one that is x that means marginal utility of x is by, is given by change in total utility divided by change in consumption okay so we can write it as uh, d du divided by dx that means change in total utility with change in the consumption so we take the derivative of this function now how we uh, take the derivative it is very simple since we are taking the derivative with respect to x this two becomes the coefficient and this two is subtracted by one it is very simple so this two will become coefficient here three twos are six x now 2 minus 1 is 1 so x to the power 1 is x plus the derivative of a constant is always 0 so uh, the marginal utility utility that we got here is equal to 6x okay we got the marginal utility here 6x now uh, how to find the marginal utility when we are given the two commodities? Let us uh, see how do we find the marginal utilities when two uh, two commodities are consumed by a consumer. Let us say we are given uh, we are given a consumption function. Let us say we have. Uh, so first, I will show you if we are given a total utility function that is u is equal to f of x y so it is a function it is a utility function where the consumer is uh, consuming two uh, two goods or two commodities now in this case marginal utility is marginal utility of uh, consuming commodity x is simply the partial derivative we don't use here total uh, uh, total derivative we use the partial derivative we write it as like this um, that is d u divided by d x that means change in total utility with change in the units of commodity x holding another uh, uh, holding the utility uh, from another uh, commodity constant simply given as the partial derivative d u divided by d x that means sorry here we have y that means change in total utility with change in the consumption of uh, good y holding this uh, the utility from the uh, commodity x constant so this is the um, sns behind finding the partial derivatives in partial derivative we uh, we assume the other uh, variable is always constant okay let us say we are given a utility function u is equal to x square uh, plus 3 uh, 3xy plus uh, y cube so we have to find the marginal utility of x and marginal utility of y we can see marginal utility of x is given by by this partial derivative du by dx that means we have to partially differentiate this very utility function with respect to x here 
So this is simply the derivative of x carries this x2 becomes coefficient. So this is 2 times x. Now 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get here 2 plus sinus y is here constant. The derivative of x is here 1. So we get here 3y. 3y plus uh, sinus uh, we are differentiating with respect to x the derivative of this very uh, term is here zero because it is assumed to be constant here so it is here zero okay Simil uh, similarly marginal utility of y marginal utility of y is simply we differentiate this very function with respect to y now so here no y is involved so the derivative is here zero here if uh, if x is constant uh, the derivative of y is one so this becomes 3x so we get here 3x uh, plus the derivative of y cube is this 3 becomes coefficient so 3y to the power 3 minus 1 that is here okay this is how we find the derivative so we, uh, actually we are uh, using here the partial derivatives when we are given more than one variable so d u divided by d y is here okay now coming uh, to another concept uh, in the marginal series uh, we will talk about the marginal propensity to consume uh, let me rub this So another concept that is uh, the marginal product, uh, propensity to consume, that is marginal propensity to consume is simply change in the consumption. So I will write uh, change in consumption, consumption due to, due to change in, change in income of the uh, income of the consumer so uh, here we also use the marginal concept simply this marginal concept is thing it is the first uh, derivative uh, derivative of consumption function consumption function let us say we are given the consumption function we are given consumption function is given as uh, 100 plus 0 0.5 y now the derivative we have to to find the derivative that is mpc we differentiate this consumption function with respect to y because model uh, propensity to consume says change in consumption due to change in income so this is simply d uh, c divided by d y so it is here simple the derivative of a constant as i have told you is always zero here we have only y the derivative of y is one y so i will uh, also explain here how it is zero sorry how it is one first of all we know and the power function rule if we are given uh, y is equal to x to the power n so i will try to show you how we find the derivative if this is a function and we have to differentiate this function with respect to x so this is simply dy by dx what we do we take this n it becomes coefficient so it is here n x times n and we subtract this coefficient by one so this becomes n minus now we have here y. Uh, let us here uh, c is equal to simply y. Then dc divided by y becomes here the coefficient is uh, sorry when there is no power shown the power is always one so this one becomes coefficient to one times y uh, and this one is subtracted by one this becomes one minus one so this is here one into y is y one minus one is zero anything raised power zero that is anything raised power zero is always equal to one okay uh, anything raised to the power zero is equal to one so the derivative of y is here one 
So our marginal propensity to consume here is simply this 0.5. Okay. Here we can also calculate the marginal propensity to save because we know marginal propensity to consume plus marginal propensity to save is always equal to 1. Now, marginal propensity to consume is here 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 is uh, plus MPS is equal to 1, which implies MPS is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5. So MPS is all, also here 0 0.5. So coming to the next concept, let us see we are given the saving function now. If we are given uh, the saving function will be same, then marginal uh, propensity to save is change in consumption due to change in, sorry, change in savings. Change in saving due to change in income. So let us say we are given the saving function is given as S is equal to 80 plus 0 0.4 Y here the marginal propensity to save is simply the derivative of this function with respect to y this is ds divided by dy derivative of constant is 0 derivative of y is 1 so we get 0 0.4 m p s is here 0 0.4 sorry therefore m p c is equal to 1 minus uh, M P S. So our M P C is equal to one minus zero point four. That is equal to zero point six. So we can also calculate M P C from the marginal propensity to save function. Okay, this was about the marginal propensity to save and marginal propensity to consume. So uh, one thing is to be remembered. Uh, Learning calculus for the sake of economics uh, is very easy. It is not uh, a rocket science. You can easily uh, learn this. There is no need to worry, but uh, you have to be very attentive in uh, finding the right uh, right subject matter. Okay. Another concept uh, which we often come across in the economics is marginal product. That is marginal product. So I will write here in short form. Marginal product is nothing. It is refers to the addition in the total product due to use of additional uh, unit of that factor. That is, uh, so I will write it here. Marginal product refers to, uh, refers to additional, sorry, uh, addition to total product, total product due to, due to change, uh, change, or uh, due to change in the total factor. Uh, uh, sorry, we can write it as change or we can write due to the use of additional unit of total factor. So I will write here due to the use of use uh, of additional uh, additional unit of unit of that factor that factor factor so uh, marginal product uh, we find here uh, two concepts which are same actually marginal productivity of labor or we say it marginal physical productivity of labor so this marginal productivity of labor or marginal physical product of labor is is change in change in total product total product due to due to change change in quantity of so marginal product means simply finding derivative of uh, finding derivative derivative of total product okay so we will see an example here so I'll just rub it here let us say we are given a revenue function let us say q is equal to q 
is equal to x cube plus 5 x y plus y square that means a firm using two inputs that is x and y so we have to find marginal productivity of x and marginal productivity so marginal productivity of x is simply here uh, it is that partial derivative because there are two variables we take the partial derivative we write it as d q divided by d x so derivative of x cube is 3 x square this uh, uh, 3 becomes coefficient 3 is subtracted by 1 this is all about power function rule plus here uh, since y is assumed constant so uh, derivative of x is 1 5 into 1 into y is 5y uh, plus derivative of y square here is equal to 0 because we assume it constant similarly marginal productivity of uh, another input that is y is simply the partial derivative of this function q with respect to y so now we differentiate with respect to y so the derivative of x cube is zero y it is a general constant we are differentiating with respect to y here the derivative of y is one so we get here for you x for you x plus derivative of uh, y square is uh, two y okay this two becomes coefficient uh, this power is subtracted by one so we get two y okay Coming to another uh, concept uh, in this series of uh, marginals is uh, marginal cost. Rather, we have the another concept that is marginal cost. Another concept that we come across in the economics is the marginal cost. So the marginal cost is uh, actually the change in total cost due to production of an additional unit of output and it is written as marginal cost is change in total cost due to change in output. Let us say we are given a cost function that is cost function is given as x square minus 4xy minus 2y cube where two goods are produced and this is the modern, uh, sorry total cost function then marginal cost is simply marginal cost of let us say good x is simply uh, the partial derivative of cost function with respect to the same uh, commodity that is x so differentiating this with respect to x this becomes x square becomes 2x it is derivative becomes 2x here we derivative of x is y sorry 1 so this becomes 4y minus 4y the derivative of y since it is assumed constant here so our marginal cost is this now marginal cost of y is simply partial derivative of total cost with respect to y here so differentiating this very function with respect to y now since uh, it is x square we are assuming we are differentiating with respect to y its derivative is zero so here we will get minus the derivative of y is one so this is minus four x here two threes are six this three becomes coefficient so this becomes two threes are six this power is subtracted by one so y so here this is our cost function okay coming to another that is marginal revenue so i will write it here marginal revenue is simply change in total revenue total revenue due to production of a production of an additional unit of output uh, and it is simply given as marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue with respect to the quantity okay if we are given the total revenue function is given as 5xyq plus 3x square revenue of good x is simply the derivative of this function with respect to y that is dr with respect to 
x so this is here this 3 becomes coefficient to 3 5s are 15 sorry uh, we are differentiating with respect to x first derivative of x is here 1 5 into 1 is 5 so this is 5 y cube plus here this 2 becomes coefficient to 2 3s are 6 x 2 minus 1 is 1 so x to the power 1 is only x y so this is marginal revenue of product x similarly marginal revenue of product y is simply d tr divided by d y with respect to y we differentiate this function so i write it here so this 3 becomes coefficient 3 5s are 15 x y this 3 is subtracted by 1 so this becomes square plus 3 here the derivative of y is so this becomes 3x square 3x yeah this is how we find the marginal revenues okay coming uh, to another chapter next marginal concept is that is marginal rate of substitution so i will not write it in the long form so marginal uh, rate of uh, substitution for consuming two goods x and y let us say we have x and y it represents the rate at which consumer is prepared to exchange good x for good y that is if consumer was uh, using two goods x and y that is marginal rate of substitution so i will write here uh, for a commodity sorry for consuming consuming two goods goods x and y represents represents rate or change rate at which at which uh, consumer consumer is prepared or willing uh, willing to exchange exchange good x good x for y uh, good x for y okay actually it is the concept of indifference curve and um, this changes that the satisfaction level of the consumer remains same now marginal uh, rate of substitution between x and y is the amount of good y that he is willing to give up to get additional unit of good x so we can also write it as amount of good y amount of good y y that he means consumer is willing uh, to give up or sacrifice give up for additional uh, additional unit of good x good x so how do we find we find the derivative we use the derivative uh, y by dx and it measures the marginal rate of substitution between x and y or x for y here so let us see an example let us say we are given a utility function u is equal to u is equal to uh, anything let us say we are given 10 x plus y then we have to find marginal rate of substitution between uh, x and y so this is simply utility of x divided by marginal utility of y this is the formula for this now marginal utility of x good minus d u by dx sorry d u by dx differentiating this with respect to x partially and uh, divided by differentiating this with respect to y partially so this u and u gets cancelled we get here 
or we can write it here. Now, du by dx, the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of constant is 0, so we get here 10 divided by the derivative of here du divided by dy, since we are differentiating with respect to uh, y here. In this case, so it is 0, derivative of y is 1, so marginal rate of substitution is here 10. Okay. Coming to another concept, uh, which is like this, uh, marginal rate of substitution, but is used in case of production, that is marginal rate of technical substitution. So let me rub this. So we have another concept, that is marginal rate of technical substitution, that is MRTS. So it is used uh, in isocode analysis. Uh, like uh, the marginal rate of substitution was used in the difference curve analysis, we use it in the isocode anal analysis. And we know the isocode means different kind of combinations of two goods uh, used by a producer, which gives the same uh, level of output to the producer. Okay, it represents amount of one input that the producer is willing to give up for obtaining an additional unit of other. So I will not write it here. Let us say if we have M or T S between labor and capital, it means amount of amount of input amount of input K that producer is willing producer is willing willing to give up give up to get additional additional unit of unit of labor okay the formula is simple m r t s L A is marginal productivity of labor divided by marginal productivity of capital. Actually, it is the ratio of the marginal products of two inputs. And it is equal to negative D K divided by D L. Why negative? Because isocount, as we know, is always negative slope. So this comes from this. Uh, so coming uh, coming to the example part here uh, one thing uh, which i uh, forgot here this uh, dk divided by dl also measures the slope of the isocount here okay that means marginal rate of technical substitution also measures the slope of the isocount let us say we are given an example we are given a production function let us say we have a production function w is equal to 6x square plus 3xy plus 2y square we have to find a marginal rate of technical substitution between labor and capital when uh, when y is equal to 4 and x is Okay, the units of y and x are 4 and 5 respectively. So we will use marginal rate of technical substitution between x and y. We have x, y here is simply marginal product of x divided by marginal product of y. Okay, now marginal product of x, so I will use marginal product of uh, x simply marginal product of x differentiating this respect to x, so I will use this we can do six x twelve x here this is three y plus three y no y is involved so it is here zero. Similarly marginal product product of y is equal to differentiating with respect to y so derivative of y is one so this is your three x plus two to the four y now marginal i mark product of x 
when y is equal to when y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5 so we will give when uh, y is equal to 4 x is equal to 5 so we will just put the value in this equation so this is 12 times the value of x is 5 plus 3 times the value of uh, y is 4 so this is 12 5 are 60 3 4 are 12 so this is 72 similarly x is equal to 5 we just accept the value here 3 times x the value of x is 5 plus uh, 4y the value of y is 4 so 3 5 are 15 4 4 are 10 15 plus 16 is 31 so y productivity of x divided by marginal productivity of y so we get here marginal productivity of x is 2 so 2 point uh, something with 2.2 I'm not sure about the calculation here you have to sacrifice 2.2 units of x for one additional unit of y okay I hope I make myself uh, clear in this video if you like this video share and subscribe thank you